Hey guys, okay, so here is uh, today's and really throughout the week's haul uh, things that I've managed to pick up. Uh, I'm actually using my new camcorder which I picked up for five pounds and this actually sells for about 89 I think 89 on Amazon or about 50 on eBay but I'm going to keep it myself and and use it for you guys. Um, first of all it's kind of a pickup. Uh, this is when I picked up the uh, Escape from Cordex I was missing two cards and luckily enough a guy on eBay was selling them so I managed to pick these up for just a couple of pounds. It means I can now sell my Escape from Cordex for well I'm hoping to get about 30, 35 should be easy enough uh, but that's fully complete now. Second of all um, when I ordered the camcorder the guy I bought it from who was absolutely brilliant he uh, he wrapped it up in an old hat and it happens to be a Guinness hat uh, St Patrick's Day 17th of March and uh, I asked him if, if he wanted the hat back and he said no so um, I'm gonna put it on eBay because incredibly the same one sold I think last month for uh, I think it was eight ninety nine nine pounds. Maybe if I wait until next year around St Patrick's Day, I might be able to get a bit more. But then again, there'll be more people selling them, so I don't know. I picked up two of these. Uh, I've seen these a lot in other people's haul videos, uh, and it's, I'm sorry, I haven't a clue. Uh, this is three and two. Uh, I picked. I paid ninety nine pence each. Uh, once I've got the first one, they'll go as a, a bundle. So um, I picked up this. This is Puzzler and it was £1.60 and uh, the reason why I picked this up is it actually goes extremely well on Amazon. Uh, this is quite easily a £20 to £25 piece of software here so uh, yeah always be on the lookout for Puzzler and it's basically just like a whole bunch of word searches. Uh, the one with Jennifer Aniston, Jennifer Aniston on sells really well. And I picked up a, a brand new and sealed a Ravensburger 3D puzzle of Big Ben. Not too much money in this. I paid a pound. It goes for about nine, eight to nine pounds. Maybe a bit more in December, um, but we'll see. Uh, I picked this up today, which was a very, very large Scooby Doo plush. Unfortunately, he's missing his little Scooby S like emblem off of his neck. Um, but I paid two pounds at Haven's Hospice, and it goes for about fifteen quid. So, um, well, fifteen on a good day, ten to twelve normally. So I'm pretty good with that. It's going to be a bit of a pain to fit in a, one of my poly mailers, but uh, maybe I've got a box for him. Um, I picked this up, which is a Mega Blocks Dragons Battle Gate. I paid just one pound ninety nine. And uh, unfortunately, it's not complete. But if complete, this goes quite happily on Amazon for about 65, 70 quid. Uh, on eBay, not so well, to be honest. And I might just basically part it out, or just sell it as incomplete, 20 quid, and just you know, I'll, I'll make good profit. Um, I picked up this Disney mug today. And uh, it's, it's very, very nice condition. I paid just 49p Salvation Army. And uh, it's got Mickey and Minnie, uh, Walt Disney World at the bottom. And it's got um, Goofy and Donald on the other side. They're in like hot air balloons. And uh, I checked on eBay and this goes quite comfortably for about 16 to 18 pounds. Um, so for pretty well for 50 pence. And I picked this up today. To be honest, there is no resale value in this whatsoever. I paid four quid and it sold on eBay for one pound. Um, but to be honest with you, um, if I was to wait, if I was to sell it at Christmas, because it is actually new, it's just, it's got a bit of damage to the box, but it is new, it's never been used. Um, if I was to wait till Christmas, I could probably get about a tenner. But to be honest with you, um, I have a mate who bought the Nintendo Wii from me so he might actually like that he might like that to go with Nintendo Wii because that way because he also bought uh, Mario Kart with it so he's net, he'll have a steering wheel he's got a tennis racket you get like a bat and a golf club and yeah kind of other loads of other stuff you still down there what you get so yeah pretty good um, 
So that I'll probably make a tenner on. And I picked up this as well, which is a Polaroid One Step Flash Instant Camera. Not incredible amount of money in these, but I paid uh, two pounds. There it is, two pounds fifty. So in the Sally Army, and this actually goes quite happily for about 35, 40 quid on it on eBay. Um, you can get a lot more on Amazon, but I might just go for a quick sale. I'm not sure. And lastly, I picked up this which is a drinking flask and uh, it's got a, a label on the bottom that says G Lorenzi Milano which uh, was a shop that closed down in 2014 but they were going for like years and years and years really high quality shop and uh, they've got some markings there um, I've I took the liberty of messaging uh, a reseller that all you guys know uh, Mr Kenneth Chapman who is obviously really, he really knows his vintage stuff. I'm hoping this has some good value. Um, I paid up on this, I paid like five quid for this. I've seen one sell for 20, so I know I'm gonna get my money back plus some, so that's not an issue. But if he kind of knows, or if anybody knows uh, what those markings are, they don't look like British markings to me, but I'm not an expert on silver uh, in all honesty, so. Uh, yeah, so hopefully it's a four ounce uh, silver flask. So I might do well on that, you know. But if it is only worth 15, 20 quid, then I'm still in profit. I'm still make good, you know, good money on it. So I'm alright with that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this video has come out okay. Because as I say, um, you know, I am using my new camcorder for this. And yeah, so that's my week's haul. And uh, let's probably, oh no, let's have a look with that. That makes up the game, so that'll be for, say 30 quid. I'll ignore them for now. Maybe five to six pound profit on that. About the same on that after fees. Scooby will be 10 pounds. The drinking cup will be what 10 15. So it's probably, um, oh yeah, <laughs> completely forgot about that. Cluda, I picked that up today. Uh, I paid three quid, so it's quite, quite hefty on that, but um, that's easily 10 10 to 12 to 15 on eBay goes for a lot less on e on uh, Amazon because FBA users are now dropping their prices which I kind of half called you know I, I knew FBA users would suddenly start to drop and the Amazon market is going to drop and drop um, especially around Christmas because although you want more money there's going to be a lot more people listing so they're going to be a lot more competing um, and eBay, I find it doesn't, I mean, you know, obviously the same effect happens on eBay. But it doesn't quite seem to work out the same with eBay. Because it, it all goes by your description, your feedback, etc. Amazon, I don't remember the last time I checked Amazon feedback. And to be honest, I've not been getting left any feedback from my Amazon sales. So, Amazon users don't really tend to do that kind of stuff. But anyways, uh, that's it. So that's my haul. So yeah, so it's a good, I don't know, uh, maybe five... 10 so that's 15 maybe a good 20 30 on that so i'm probably looking at about 80 to 90 quid once it's all sold and i paid very little really it's not my best haul but it's still profit so i'm good so anyway yeah thank you for watching uh stay tuned for my sales video my weekly sales i know a lot of you guys enjoy those so yeah thanks for watching cheers